Hello future scientists! We will revise unit 6 about sound and know different sources of sound and musical instruments and how we look after our ears. In unit 6 you have been learning about sound. You use your sense of hearing to name different sources of sound and tell someone how we hear. We compare our ears with ears from other animals also can make comparisons between different sounds and do not forget the ways how to look after your ears for our starter activity look at each picture can you hear the sound if it makes a loud sound circle it if it makes a soft sound cross it out our ears are very important they help you to hear sounds hearing is one of your five senses there are different types of sound. Sound can be pleasant and unpleasant. Pleasant sound does not hurt your ears. It makes us feel cool and happy. And these are some examples, usually music. Unpleasant sound is the sound that damages our ears and makes us angry and disappointed, like sounds from a fire alarm, thunder, and more. Your ears let you hear sounds around you. You hear when a sound enters your ears. Things that make sounds are called sources of sound, such as a girl playing a guitar, a horse galloping, or a ball hitting skittles. Ears help you to listen to other people talking, just like now. It can hear your teacher explaining. It can help to keep you safe. There are many different sources of sound around us. We use musical instrument to make sounds. Each musical instrument is a source of the sound, just like these instruments here. Now let's talk about the musical instrument. String instruments like guitar, ukulele, violin make a sound when the string is plucked, strummed, etc. And there are instruments when we hit or bang to make the sound and these are tambourine drum and triangle some instruments also make sound when we blow example this recorder and trumpet and some make sound when we shake just like this maracas there are different sources of sounds that will make different sounds some make quiet or soft sounds these pictures here make soft sound it has low volume some make loud sounds. Examples are double drums, shouting, fire truck, make loud sound. Loud sound has a high volume. Did you know that all animal ears are not in the same shape or size? Different animals have different ears. Like humans, animal ears are designed to collect sounds. Some animals have big ears to help them hear better. Here are some animals with big ears. This desert fox, hare, and deer. Some sounds are so loud that they can hurt your ears. This is an earmuffs. Earmuffs are objects designed to cover a person's ears for protection against cold or noises. Look at this man. Okay, this man must wear earmuffs to stop the noise of the machine from hurting their ears. Also, this man must wear earmuffs because the sound of the plane is so loud it will hurt his ears. But how do we take care of our ears? Because if you hurt the inside of your ears, you could go deaf. Being deaf means that you cannot hear. And some people use hearing aid to help them hear better. Here are some ways to look after your ears. You have to keep your ears clean. Wash them when you wash your face. Do not poke inside the ear with anything. Don't shout in your friend's ears. Don't listen to loud sounds. And most importantly, if your ears hurt, tell your parents and go to the doctor. Sometimes we need help to hear some sounds. Doctors use a stethoscope to help them hear your heart beating. A sound travels from a source, it becomes fainter. When you stand near the source of a sound, you can hear it clearly. As you move away from the source of a sound, the sound gets fainter or quieter. And when you move closer, it gets louder. Sound words. 
What does it mean? The word describes a sound, like when you open a bottle. We describe the sound as pop. Splosh describes sound from the water. Shh means quiet. Boom, when something explodes. Zzz, this letter Z, that is a sound for sleepy or sleeping. Now, sound effects are sounds that people make to sound like something real. When you tap coconut shells together, it sounds like horses galloping. Now, can you say the sound effects of bird chirp or car broom, horse galloping, leaves rustling, clock tick tock, and bell ring? Remember, some sources of sound make very loud sounds. We can hear them from a far away. And some sounds are quieter or softer. We cannot hear them from far away. Okay? Now apply what you have learned. Answer the revision pack unit 6 sound. Question number 1. For each of the pictures below, write down whether a loud sound or a soft sound is produced. Airplane taking off. You can hear an airplane taking off or a plane in the sky from far away because it makes a loud sound. Leaves rustling. You cannot hear leaves rustling from far away. They make soft sound. Kids whispering make a soft sound also. Baby sleeping. You cannot hear the sound from a baby sleeping. That's a soft sound. But the police siren makes a loud sound. Same with the traffic on the road makes a loud sound. In question number one, remember that some sources of sound make very loud sounds. We can hear them from far away. Some sounds are quieter or softer. We cannot hear them from far away. Now question number two, how do you make a sound on the musical instruments below? Okay, so these are the words, shake, hit, blow, and pluck. This is a drum, guitar, maracas, and trumpet. For a drum to make a sound, we hit it. Okay, so hit is the answer here. Guitar is a string instrument. It will make a sound when the string is plucked. Maracas need to shake to make a sound. Trumpet makes a sound when we blow it. Question number three. Look at these five musical instruments. How do you play these instruments? Like flute, violin, tambourine, triangle, and piano. Letter A, which instrument do you hit with your fingers? Okay, the piano. Letter B, which instrument do you blow into? So when you blow, you let the air come out. So which instrument is that? Okay, we use blow for this flute, okay, to make sound. Now let us see which instrument do you hit with sticks or beaters? The triangle. Letter D, which instrument do you play with a, with a bow? this violin and which instrument do you shake with your hands of course you know this it's the tambourine now question number four let's complete the sentences below using the words given okay letter a a stethoscope helps a doctor to hear the okay heart beating letter b we hear with our ears letter c what is this Sound is something we hear. Letter D. When I move away from the source of sound, the sound gets fainter. And letter E. Loud sounds are dangerous because they can... Okay, so what they do with your ears? They can damage our ears. Question number five. Draw a line to match the correct sound to each picture. A cat, clock, bee, telephone, and fireworks. And these are the sounds, buzz, ring, meow, bang, tick tock. We will draw a line, okay, from this cat, okay, a cat meows. The sound of a clock is tick tock. And what about a bee? Okay, buzz, okay, a bee buzz. Telephone makes a ring sound. And fireworks, bang. Question number six, mark each of these statements as true or false. Number one, humans do not have ears. What do you think? Of course, this is false. We have two ears. Okay. Number two, animals have big ears so that they can hear better. 
That is true because their environment is a huge factor okay, on the ear sizes and structure. Uh, number three, if you wear earmuffs, the sound will be louder. What is the answer here? Okay, this is false. People wear earmuffs to block the sound. So when you block the sound, of course, you cannot hear anymore. The sound will not be louder. Okay, so that is false. Number four, people wear earmuffs to stop sound hurting their ears. True. These ear defenders, okay, these earmuffs protect the ears from loud sound. Number five, never put anything unsafe into your ears. Okay, one way to take care of your ears is never put anything unsafe into your ears. So this is true. Question number seven, class one wanted to find out how far away they could hear sounds. Okay, this is Aisha. She blows a trombone while others uh, walk away. Now, they stop when they could not hear the trombone. Now, this bar chart shows when class 1 could not hear the trombone. And these are the number of steps each student take. Just use the chart to answer the following questions. Letter A, who could hear the drum the furthest away? Again, look at this chart and you will see here it's Zayed. Okay, he took 40 steps away until he could not hear the trombone. Letter B, how many steps did Fatima take? Okay, this is Fatima. And she took how many? Okay, 20 steps away. Letter C, how many steps did Sarah take? For Sarah, she took 10 steps away. And how many steps did Ahmad take? Okay, look at Ahmad. And he took 30 steps away. Question number 8, complete the sentences below using the words given. Okay? You can see here these pictures of different sources of sound. And these are the sounds. Quack, quack goes the duck. Chirp, chirp goes the chick. Broom, broom goes the car. Ring, ring goes the bell. Tick, tock goes the clock. Now, question number nine. Faisal made some sounds. Mayad listened to find out which objects he could hear 20 steps away. Use the chart to answer the below questions. And these are the objects. Flute, drum, paper fan, feather shaker, xylophone, and wristwatch. In this column are the answers if Mayed could hear these sounds. Okay, so let's answer letter A. Which sources of sound could Mayed hear? Look at the column to see the answer, if yes or no. Okay, for letter A, Mayed could hear the sound of flute, drum, and xylophone. Letter B, which sources of sound could Mayed not hear? Okay, you have the paper fan, feather shaker, and wristwatch. Why do you think that Mayed could not hear from these sources of sound? All right, because this could make soft sound. Question number 10, here are some ways to look after your ears. Mark each of uh, these pictures as true or false. This picture shows how to keep your ears clean. So mark this as true. Second picture, if your ears hurt, okay, tell your parents and go to the doctor. Also, this is true. This picture is false. Do not poke inside the ear with anything. And the last picture, don't listen to loud sounds. This is not a good way to look after your ears. So the answer here is false. Now question 11. Name two animals that have big ears to help them hear better. Elephant, being the largest living land animal, uh, does have the biggest ears of any living animal. So I'm writing elephant here. And uh, desert fox, okay? Desert fox uses uh, those big ears to listen for sounds of prey in the sand. And uh, the ears also help dispel body heat to keep the fox cool. So these are only some examples you can think of other animals that have big ears. Now you can continue to explore, discover, and share your ideas with the knowledge learned from Unit 6 Sound. Again, thank you and good luck.